Okay, so got yourself a new Samsung phone and now you want to know what are the best customizations and give your phone your own twist. So let me show you where to start. So the first thing what we're going to do is go into the Galaxy Store and download the Good Lock app. That's where we are going to be starting our journey with all of the customizations. Once you have that downloaded, we open the Good Lock app and then we will get started. Let's start with the lock star. Here you can see you have all these options. You can choose your clock. Many options to choose from as a default. You can scale the number if it is bigger or smaller. You have your notifications. You can choose from the icons to the lock star notification, you can change the scale and uh, transparency and as well the colors. At the right here, we have this option, which is pretty nice. It is the options to have multiple apps for you when you have the lock screen closed. Here you can see you have six options to add six apps or two only one at each side of the screen. And here at the bottom, you can select which side are they going to be. I love this one. This is pretty good. Okay, coming back to the main screen, we are going to find the other option, which is sound assistance. I really like this one. You can customize our volume panel here. Let me show you the colors. You have so many colors to choose from. You can make it bigger and slimmer. And you can apply a theme to it as well. This is a pretty good option. You can choose as well here what it is going to be when you increase the volume. How much do you want to increase the volume to? It's by 5, by 10. You can choose it. Here there are two options. You can control your music with the volume keys. I have that turn it off. And your favorite media apps. You can turn that on as well. Okay, going back again to the main screen, we are going to find the Keys Cafe. Here it means that all the changes you make to your keyboard, it's only related to the Samsung keyboard. In this case, I have my keyboard set it for the Google keyboard and I have to select the Samsung keyboard instead. Let me show you here. You can style a lot of the colors, the effects and sounds. As well, you can set up your sticker if you want to have that information there. Moving on to one of my favorite uh, apps, which is Home Up. You can see here all these options. So let's get to the home screen. You can select your grids and loop the pages so they go back to the main one. You can control the background blur. And here is one of my favorite that I just found out recently is Hide App Icon Label. So this one is turned on and you can see here that none of my apps have their names on it anymore. Going back to the main screen, you have the folder. You can select the folder grid. And one of the options that I really enjoy is the task changer. You can see here you have multiple options to select from grid, stack, vertical, and slim list. In this stack option, you have the mini mode, which is very handy when you have one, op one hand operation. Okay, going back again, and we're going to find the register. So in the register, you can see here, one of the options that I really like is back tap action. You can select giving double tap or triple tap at the back of your phone. And as you can see here for a double tap, I just said, take a screenshot. And for a triple tap, you can see open camera. The other option, which is pretty nice is the side key press and hold action. You can see you can turn your flashlight you can turn on your live captions 
and mute or unmute all the volumes just by side key press and hold action. Okay, so I wanted to show you one more, which is going to be nice shot. For every screenshot you take, there is no delete button if you want to delete it, that screenshot right away. So here I did toggled on add delete button at every screenshot. Okay, I think this is a good start for you to get your Samsung phone with your own twist. I hope you enjoy and I'll see you in the next one.